This so conference will now be recorded. Groups. The next click on create target groups. So our target type is instance. We are targeting only instances. Which instance? SSL one instance. So that's what I am choosing. Target type is instance, and my target name is new name, and my target name is SSL certificate. SSL certificate. So and protocol is HTTP, and then port number is 80 is default. And VPC is our our own VPC. Our own VPC means LB is our own VPC. And so remaining all our default configurations. Uh, and then click on next. And then click on next. So here only one VPC, one instance is available. So why? Because we are creating only one instance. So that instance name called SSL. So now add this instance in our target. So first of all, select this instance and then scroll down the tab. So include as per pendings below. So now click on that. So after the status is pending. So on my status and my state is running after the click on create target groups. Now the target group is created perfectly and my target group name is SSL cert SSL certificate so and then click on create load balancers so is is, is this option available in ec2 dashboard so load balancers now here no load balancers are available so now create one more load balancer so our required load balancer type is application load balancer right so choose application load balancer so on our load balancer type name is SSL load. So or else FDP. So my load balancer name is FDP. And the scheme is internet facing or internal. Now we are targeting internet facing. Our scheme is internet. So on IPv4 is IPv4 type is IP address type is IPv4. So in present in India, we are India using only IPv4 address. So IPv6 is the few latest uh, upcoming technology. So IP we are using only IPv4 address and then load balancer protocol is HTTPS. So that is default and load balancer port number is 8G. So 8G means so that is the static content port number. So now we can choose our own load balancer. So here two load balancers are available. One is default and second one is LP. So our instance in LB LB load LB LB VPC. So our SSL instance in LB VPC. So that's what I am selecting. So this particular VPC. So choose second one and add all availability zones. So for suppose um, yeah yeah. Don't worry. So add and services remaining all our default things and then click on configure security groups. So next configure security groups. So here so many security groups are there. Hmm. So you can choose your own security group or else create new security group. So all those are available security groups or own security groups. So if you want any new security group, you just click on create a new security group. So add rule and type is all traffic. Source level is any. So this one is new security group and this security group name is load iPhone balancer iPhone wizard iPhone 3. So that is our new load balance new security group. And then click on configure routing. And then click on configure routing. So in configure routing tab. So target our target. We are already created one target, right? So the target name is the target name is so uh, here two types are available. One is new target and second one is existing target. We have already created one target. So that's what I am selecting existing target group. So and our existing target group name is SSL set 
SSL certificate, right? And target type is instance. So here two, two more options are available. So we are targeting IP addresses and also targeting Lambda functions. So Lambda is the serverless architecture. So without any instance, we can execute and uh, we can execute and we can perform any type of operations. So that is the main advantage of Lambda function. So now we are using only instance service, right? So that's what I'm selecting in instance and protocol is this HTTP and port is 80 is default and remaining all are default configurations and then click on register targets. Click on next register targets. Now we are targeting only one instance. So that instance name is SSL and that instance ID is this one. So 3CF7C is the instance ID. So our required instance ID and that instance port number is 80. So that instance security group port number is 80. And again, click on review. So and then create and then create load balancer. Create a security groups and creating configuration and create target groups. Everything will be created perfectly. Now the state is successfully created our load balancer. So that load balancer name is FDP. So this is our load balancer name, right? And then click on close. So my, actually my load balancer status is provisioning. So now my load balancer status is provisioning. So this load balancer will, will provide one DNS name for one DNS name for all target groups. We are targeting only one one instance. So the target and uh, the DNS name is this one. So in uh, first you can select our load balancer service. So offer in this in below description tab. So DNS name is available. So you just copy the DNS name. So this is the DNS name for our load balancer concept. So FDP actually, uh, so this FDP name called our load balancer name and this ID for our load balancer uh, ID and our load balancer in US hyphen East hyphen two region and our load balancer service type is LB elastic load balancer and our service name is Amazon AWS.com. So and our service domain is Amazon AWS.com. Right, so that is our load balancer domain. You just copy the domain and browse in new tabs. So actually, so take a new tab. So so first step is first step is instance output. Now we check the load balancer output. Now we check the load balancer output. So here it is working fine. So here it is working fine. Why? Because we are targeting our first instance so our first instance output is welcome to nginx on the em now that target only we are adding so this particular load balancer right so that's what we are getting same base like a ssl certificate base now clear clear all of you clear now so and so actually this is the domain name for uh, this is the domain name for load balancer concept right now we, we can add or uh, we can assign our own domain for this particular load balancer so we can add our own domain for this particular load balancer how to add it means so aws provides uh, one service like root 53 so I think we already aware on that. So click on services, route 53, route 53. So route 53 means scalable DNS and domain name registration service. So this is the domain name registration service. So this service provided by AWS, right? So here one hosted zone is available. Yesterday we already created one hosted zone. We just select that hosted zone. So this is our hosted zone. Our hosted zone name is apsdc.in and type is so this domain for public 
and record sets here two record sets are available one is name servers and second one is default so on this uh, on this domain comment is india so on my hosted zone id is this one so this one is the hosted join id so this is unique id so that is unique id right now open the domain name you just click on that domain so here two record sets are available so two record sets are available so first one is name servers and second one is sos servers so but our require uh, our required thing is only name servers select that name servers so here uh, all all name servers are available so total name servers are four so first in code.uk uk and second one is arc and third one is dot net and third one fourth one is dot com so all those are subdomains for this this particular uh, apsdc main one so where is my domain so i already purchased one domain in nextra onecom so if you want uh, any domain names you, know, you go and search good id nextra one and so many domain uh, providers are there but uh, my domain in nextra onecom so the domain cost is around uh, per year so my domains so here only uh, wait a minute uh, just log into my console so i have one domain so this domain name is apsdc.in and the register date is march and, and next due date is march so now the domain status is active now move on to settings so first of all change name servers so change name servers click on name servers so here all are default name servers so uh, all five servers five name servers are default servers so i, I have a name servers in road 53 console now we can add the servers in this location next one domain location so now check the console like first yeah so both are same no need to change anything why because we already added so my first first name server name is ns1341 so whether check it so ns134 1341 is available and then second name server is 1969 check here also 1969 is okay and then third server is 208 so now 208 also okay and then fourth name server is 973 973 is also okay okay now everything is okay so the domain so this particular apsdc dot in domain is perfectly added to this pro, pro 53 service right now we can add we can add this particular load balancer domain to this particular and so this road 53 records it how to add it means so first of all so those two are default record sets now we need to create one more record set so you just click on create record set so our our domain name is www.apsdc.in so that is our required domain right so we already we already um, we have an alias name right so that alias name is so that alias name is so this one so our load balancer name is the alias name right so we have a alias name so that's what i am selecting alias name is s so if you don't have any alias name you just click on no so so type is here so many types are there max mainly we are using only two services two types one is ipv4 and second one is c name so ipv4 means so this one like uh, wait a minute So if, if you don't have any domain names so if you don't have any load balancer domain names at that time you can choose at that time you can choose your instance 
you just copy that ipv for public ip and again back to your road 53 console so our our required uh, domain is www.apsdc.in and our uh, our um, read, redirection page is redirection address type is ipv4 address so then browse this address so if you if you don't have any ip address so then select c name canonical name so again back to my instance so public dns name is the canonical name so you just copy that name and again back to your route 53 console and paste it on value location ttl value location right so if you if you have alias so that's what i'm selecting alias so that's what i'm selecting alias our alias type is so actually our alias type is so where is our alias our alias name is fdp172 here no alias are available again refresh our console it not displayed any any alias servers alias names so now again create record set so our required domain is www.apsdc.in and alias is yes. yeah so this so this is our alias name fdp172106 so this also same fdp172 and 106 864 so both are same now select it and click on create so my record set is perfectly added in road 53 console now now check the new browser so whether it is working or not so www.apsdc.in so this site can't be reached why because uh, so it will take some time like around one to two minutes So in before that we do we do one thing we do one thing take a new tab komodo ssl store so komodo ssl store so this is the official site for komodo open that one so this site for ssl uh, ssl certification generate generated generation site so many ssl certification sites are available so this is the this is one of the best site so uh, godaddy also provide ssl certificates so as a komodo ssl store so this is the komodo ssl store um, this will provide secure ssl https certificate so this will provide secure https ssl certificate and cheapest price in the world cheapest price in the world right so cheapest price means 72 dollar per 18 years so each certificate cost is 72 dollar per 18 years so you just scroll down the tab. so uh, all those are third party third party certificates so all those are third party certificates so then first certification certificate type is single domain ssl certificate single domain ssl certificate means so this is the definition for single domain ssl certificate so a single domain ssl certificate secures a single domain or ip single domain or ip so actually this one is the single domain so actually this one is the single domain so at that time we are using this particular certificates right single domain certificates are available available at all all validation levels all validations levels like developer environment organization environment, organization and uh, environment and production environment and x and testing environment you can use on uh, in using all locations right so so our certifications so those are the certification name, names like SS, uh, essential ssl komodo ev ssl instant ssl 
QOV. So the, all those are certification names and the price range. And for suppose, uh, if you buy this like uh, essential SSL certificate, so the cost around twenty one point nine five dollar per year. So if you want to buy this, you can save up to uh, up to two eighty nine point nine nine dollars. So if you, if you want this certificate, you just click on add to cart. So so the certification cost around twenty one dollars. Twenty one dollars means I think around uh, 1500 rupees. So here low cost certificates also available. So this is the low cost certificate. Positive uh, um, positive SSL DV. So this co this certification cost for this certificate cost for 7.02 dollar dollar per year. So 0 0.72 means around 450 or 500 rupees with the taxes. So if you want this, you just click on add to cart. And here so many certificates are there. So wild card SSL certificate. Wild card SSL certificate means so these certificates secure a single domain and single domain and unlimited number of unlimited of a number of accompany, accompanying subdomains. Subdomains. Subdomains means uh, we already discussed on that, right? So actually www.netflix.com is the main domain slash movies is the subdomain. So your website in is in this way. You can choose wildcard SSL certificate. So and one more one more type is there multi-domain SSL certificate. Multi-domain SSL certificate or SAN certificate can secure up to 250 domains 250 do different domain domains are IPs so actually this this one is the one domain so this one is the one domain so in single domain right so for suppose uh, we, we are taking this this certificate so they'll provide around they'll provide a security security secure around 250 250 same domains so 250 domains so that is called multi domain ssl certificate and then last one, one more is the domain validate or domain validate means dv or dv ssl certificate so domain validate certificate means ssl certificate provides industry standards so industry standards means like mnc companies are using this type of certificates so one more is their organization validation organization validation ssl certificate offering light businesses light business authentications like startups so startup companies are using this type of certificate and one more is the extended validation extended validation ssl certificate provides maximum business level authentication maximum business level authentication means like geo so like geo all those are the all those are uh, uh, all are using this type of extended validation certifications so uh, if you want any certification you can choose you can choose first one single domain so this one is the low cost certificate positive ssl certificate so this cost uh, this certificate cost for around 450 or 550 so with the taxes right so um, but AWS also provides one uh, provides one, their own certificate. So if if you don't want this, so AWS also provides free certificates. So this the, all those are paid certificates. Those all those are paid certificates, and uh, these certificates are third party certificates. But AWS provides their own certificates for free. So for free. So. Wait a minute, I'll, I can check the answer. So www.apsdc.in. Http colon double slash. So this is not working by the cause. So again, back to my console. Check again.
सो ए पी एस डी सी इज ओके सो ए पी एस डी सी ऑल्सो ओके और लोड बैलेंसर डोमाइन ऑल्सो ओके इट इज गेटिंग समर So actually, this one is the non-secured website. You just click on that. So your connection to the site is not secure. But our requirement is secure website. We we need secure secure website. How to get it that? So again, back to my console. Mm, and again, back to load balancer concepts. So this one is the this one is our load balancer concept. So our load balancer name is FDP. and then on, on below load balancer so many options are available description listener monitoring integrated services and tax so in in description tab so in description tab so in description tab so many uh, attributes are available attributes and so many configurations are available so this is this one is the basic configuration about our load balance fdp load balancer and this is the ip address for our load balancer and this one is the availability gens so here we are adding three availability gens so in brief, before creation of load balancer uh, we, we are uh, we are skipping uh, one one submit so now at that time we can edit at the time you can use this this type of service why because so here we can add any number of any number of availability zones so that option is available in application load balancer but this option is not available in no network load balancer right so the next option is security groups oh, we already we, we already created one security group so that security group name is load balancer visit so uh if you edit the security group you just click on edit security group and add add some other configurations like or say http and https so no need to worry we already uh, added all traffic all traffic means it it allows any type of traffics right so the next one is attributes so deletion protection is disabled now the deletion protection is disabled idle time out is 60 seconds and http 2 is enabled access log is disabled and drop invalid header fields are also disabled we just click on edit attributes for suppose can choose accept logs so you can choose accept logs enable the access no no my voice is audible okay okay thank you sir so uh, if you if you want uh, if you want client information like uh, you are Uh, if you want any client information and access log information uh, you can choose this option you can assign this option access log s3 location so s3 locations so we already created s3 buckets right so s3 stands for simple storage service so by using that 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 storage service 
we can store only object type of data like uh, images videos documents and etc etc okay so uh, so here also we can we can store our client information we can store our store our uh, store our client information so one example one best example is there for suppose so for suppose so actually we are we already deployed one website so this website like uh, so this is our website right so this website name is welcome to nginx on the amazon linux ema okay so ee particular ema ni ever ever access chestunaru e location nundi access chestunaru e ip nundi access chestunaru aa prati log ni manu so ikkada s3 bucket ki add chesthe aa log lo ki manaki dump avutundi so that is the advantage of access logs right so you try it now you try it, right so it will cancel now i refresh my console so that is the description about overall description about load application load balancer in the next tab is listeners so that is our required tab so here only one listener is there so that listener is http http is the non-secured website so http is the non-secured website so here the listener is http and then listener id is 80 and our service here and address is amazon resource name here and means amazon resource name our amazon resource name is zero it so this one is unique id so here security secure in http security policy is not available and ssl also not available so but in security say here ssl is not available and security policy is not available in http level so now we can add one more listener so we can add one more listener so that listener type is https so hypertext transport protocol secure so https default port number is 443 so that is the default port number now we can add now we can add action so this action forwarded to so this action forwarded to our our target group our target group name is ssl certificate ssl set so now choose our target and then click on okay and then click on okay so here it's it shows two more options like security policies and then second one is default ssl certificate so here no more no certificate no secure our security policies choose the latest security policy so here so many security default security policies are available but this security policies is in 2016 to 18 and this is in 2017 2017 and 2018 2018 and 2000. so this is the latest security elb security policy fs 2018 iphone 16 so that is the latest security so that's what i am selecting this this type of security 18 18 6 and define ssl certificate so define ssl certificate so here so many options are available like only two options are available one is one is from acm recommended and second one is from iam iam means identity access management acm means amazon provided amazon provided ssl certificate or else if you have any third party certificate you just select import certificate so at present we don't have any certificates at present we don't have any certificates but third party certificate cost is around 600 uh, now we don't bear the time so that's what i am creating one free certificate in aws console so uh, so that certificate is available in so the certificate is available aws console first of all click on services so this is our aws management console so in in security and identity compliance so this one in security and identity compliance 
so our our required service is certificate manager so check the certificate manager so this is our required service now select that service certificate manager certificate manager so a double certificate manager makes it easy to provision manage deploy and renew ssl and tls certificates on the aws platform so actually this is our aws platform right so here they provide two types like provision certificate and private certificate authority so but we need public certificate so but we need public certificate so this one is the definition for definition for provision and this one is the definition for private certificate authority but we know we need only provision certificate so that's what i am selecting so this one click on get started so now click on get started and request a certificate type so here two types are available request a public certificate and request a private certificate so request a public public certificate from aws by default by default public certificates are trusted by browsers and operating systems so this only is trusted by browsers so actually this is this is the browser so actually this is the browser so that's what i am selecting request a public certificate so but in private certificate no private certificates available for for issuance so here no certificates are available no private certificates are available only public certificates are available so that's what i am selecting request a public certificate so actually this certificate is the free certificate so this one is the free 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 tier certificate so now can i send some sample domain so actually i, I have a domain so the domain name is star dot apsdc dot in so that is my domain so i have a domain so the domain name is star apsdc dot in star apsdc dot in now actually in, in india we are using www dot apsdc dot some other countries they are using some other values so that's what i am using star symbol star means it allows any type of any type of value right so and then click on next so here two types are there select validation method so two type of validations are there one is dns validation and second one is email validation now i do dns validation path and click on next so no need to assign any tag so if you want add add the tags tags and click on review so my domain name is star dot apsdc dot in and validation method is validation type is dns validation and then confirm and request and then confirm and request so my domain is my my domain is validation um, but the validation status is pending validation pending or validation now export dns configuration to a file so here our certification certificate id is there now download that that file and open it so my domain name is star dot apsdc dot in and my record set name is this one is my record set and my record type is c name c name is my record set c name is so this one is c name. now add this record name and record values in route 53 console so add both record name and record values in route 53 console right so how to add first the next click on continue so in the next click on continue so validation not completed now the status is pending 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 for validation so uh, we will wait around two to three minutes 
right pending for validation so now add this uh, two names in route 53 console again back to my route route 53 console the second tab is the route 53 management console so here three name three record sets are available one is name server and second one is sos and third one is a a means our own load balancer alias name now create one more record set now create one more record set so our ssl certificate provides two names one is record name and second one is record value you just copy that record name and again back to my console route 53 console so in create record set panel so in name location paste it the record name value so paste the record name value so now delete apstc dot in so the value is already already here so that's what i'm deleting the, the ending content so the next type is so the next type is record type is c name so now the type is c name canonical name and this record set value is this one you just copy that value and paste it on this location so then next click on create now four record sets are available so first one is name server and second one is sy server and third one is load balancer server and fourth one is ssl certificate so fourth one is ssl certificate so again refresh now again back to my certification manager refresh now the status is issue now take a new browser console www.apsdc.in enter so this one is the www.apsdc.in so this one is the not secured website why because this server this server in http port so this server in http port right now we will check https port so how to check it means ht tps colon double slash www dot apsdc dot in apsdc dot in so this website in http security group but this website in http security group so this site can't be reached why because so just now we are creating root 53 concept right so uh, minimum we will wait around two to three minutes right so uh, around it will take uh, five to six minutes and it will take around five to six minutes so um, in before we'll do one more thing so actually this concept called security certificate security certificate for our own websites so by using this certificate we can i can provide security for our own domains or own websites so that is the main advantage of ssl certificate right yeah, but aws provides free domains so free certificates ssl certificates so that option available in so that option available in identity and access management security and identity compliance so in, in select security and identity compliance or required certificate service name is certificate manager you just click on certificate manager and generate one new certificate and then add the certificate in route 53 console so after we will wait around five to ten minutes so the page will be uploaded right so in before 
we will do one one thing one more one more lab so that lab name is cloud watch so that lab is cloud watch so this one is the second lab so um, in this lab we need some configurations or some requirements so only we need one one requirement so that requirement is any aws service we need any aws service like ac2 we need any aws service we, like instance is one service so vpc is another service we need any one service so actually i i have i have one instance right so by using that instance we can create cloud watch concept so cloud watch means it, it monitors our our aws service it watch our our aws service aws services means instance is one service vps is another one service auto scaling load balance road 53 all those are the services provided by aws right so first of all we already um, already we have one server service like ec2 so here running instance is one now open that instance so our instance type is ssl1 now select that instance so cloud watch means cloud watch monitors our our instance our instance or uh, our uh, am roles and etc etc now we can apply our cloud watch monitoring for our instance like ssl1 instance so here so many fields are available in description is oral description about ec2 instance Ta status six means two checks are available one is system and second one is instance and third one is monitoring so here no alarms configured no cloud watch alarms are configured now create one new cloud watch alarm for this this particular instance ssl1 instance how to create it means so first first of all select monitoring and then click on create alarms so here the alarm create alarm button is available now just click on that so now just click on that so send notification to so uh, if if your server cpu utilization is greater than or equal to 30 percent you you will get one message for your uh, one message message in your gmail so actually this is my gmail so send a notification to send a notification to ramdi 180 at gmail.com so that is my personal gmail id and and then so my my at my performance is uh, greater than or equal to 30 percent uh, greater than or equal to 30 percent then i immediately take an action recovery this instance stop this instance terminate this instance and reboot this instance so our our instance button our instance load is greater than or equal to 30 greater than or equal to 38 so our action action taken is so those four are available one is recovery recover the recover this particular instance which instance ssl one instance so this one otherwise stop this stop stop ssl one instance otherwise terminate ssl one instance otherwise reboot reboot ssl one instance so i need i need stop an immediate action is stop this instance so whenever whenever the average so the average cpu utilization cpu utilization means uh, user hit count so cpu utilization cpu utilization is greater than or equal to here so many symbols are available greater than less than less than or equal to greater than or equal to okay so our cpu utilization is greater than or equal to 30 percent so cpu utilization is greater than or equal to 30 percent for at least one consecutive read of 
फाइव मिनट्स और वन मिनट कॉन्सिक्यूटिव पीरियड ऐसी जरगा सो हिर् फाइव मिनट फिफ्टी वन अवर अंड सिक्स अवर्स सो सो वन वन कॉन्सिक्यूटिव पीरियड ऑफ फाइव मिनट सो नंबर आफ् अलारम नंबर आफ् अलारम स्टाट सो दिश द अलारम स्टाट and this one is the graphical representation so our requirement is greater than or equal to 30 the greater than or equal to 30 aithe maaku stop this instance e instance stop avali at the same time i'll get uh, i'm receiving the message from cloud watch so which uh, which mail id so this one from the 180 gmail.com so that is our requirement right So here one minute also available. Check it once. Not is not available. Okay. So the next step is click on create alarms. So alarm alarm created successfully. Check the alarm to view additional details and option in our Amazon Cloud Watch. so that is the cloud watch is the one service one service in aws so close now check the cloud watch console how to check it, it means click on services so our required service name is cloud watch yeah so this is the service we just to open it so one insufficient alarm is there so this one so now the alarm status is insufficient so this is our alarm but our alarm status is insufficient data so why why we are getting this message means so first of all log into your gmail log into your gmail so you get one message from get a message from aws ticket support so like this so like this so open that message and click on confirm subscription once subscription was done so the status will be changed so where it is yeah so insufficient data to active state i am not getting any any confirmation messages you have subscribed from the quantity gmail.com to the topic eps 123 so that is previous one yeah now the status is okay so previous status is insufficient now the status is okay so this one is the confirmation confirmation mail you just sub, uh, confirm the sub, uh, subscription after that you will get okay messages right so okay now no so uh, our uh, cloud watch alarm is done so but uh, but our require, but our thing is so the the cpu utilization is greater than or equal to 30% greater than or equal to 30% at that time our server will be shutting down shutting down so that is the condition now now satisfy the condition like again back to my services ec2 ec2 running instances
so training instances and select your our instance ssl1 and copy that instance ip for public ip and take a putty console so first to check the cpu utilization first we check the cpu utilization how to check it means first of all log into putty console so authentications browse our ppk file name is ohio one and then select open open now login as our our image type is ec2 uh, amazon linux so login as ec2 iphone user so the next step is convert into root user sudo space su space iphone now we are in root user right now check the cpu utilization in this particular instance ssl1 instance how to check it means so here one command is there that command is top so top so our cpu utilization is our instance cpu utilization is only zero zero percent and this uh, the cpu state is 100 percent idle so cpu utilization is zero 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 means he instance me our water at the same time now nah, instance and the hundred percent perfect to work out in the so that is so cpu utilization is zero 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 means e server method work a percent got a load level so then second thing is hundred percent ideal hundred percent ideal means hundred percent ideal state low only and the e instance may the alante button lay the one okay so what our uh, our alarm type is greater than or equal to 30 percent and greater than or equal to 30 percent travel at instance in Naku around thousand members browse just a gun okay so here we do one more thing one more option is available so duplicate session login as ec2 iphone user same putty console and again convert into root user sudo space su space iphone now we are in root user so first uh, execute one command like yum space install space stress m space install space stress space iphone by m install stress the command in is not automatic on a server may the button create just me stress for that right enter now this uh, installation was completed now check the status here so stress is installed but not running any command right so now check the cloud watch alarms select select our cloud watch alarm view in matrix matrix means graphical representation So, but our my requirement is greater than or equal to 30 percent for one data point with five minutes five minutes low a limit crash it and i go now server on the shutdown right so now now my cpu utilization again control z again top so you know also my cpu utilization is zero zero and idle state is 100 100 percent i can run one more command like em stress so stress 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 space 
hyphen hyphen my cpu or our utilization is cpu or required is required thing is cpu utilization is 30 percent cpu utilization is 30 percent and time out is hyphen hyphen time out is time out is 100 seconds Enter. Sorry, checking CPU. CPU, CPU, yeah. Now, stress input uh, dispatching hogs 30 CPUs, dispatching hogs 30 CPUs, 30 CPUs load me. Then, uh, now check the status, now check the CPU utilization. Now the CPU utilization is 100% used and idle state is 0, 0.00. Now high loading this particular instance, SSL1 instance. So check in graphical representation. Refresh. Refresh. We will wait, wait around five minutes. Actually, now our data point within five minutes. So refresh state is so here. Um, auto refresh interval is ten seconds is available. One minute, two minutes, sixteen minutes, six minutes, and fifteen. Five minutes and fifteen minutes are available. Now I select only ten seconds. So refresh. Control it again. Check the status top. Now my CPU utilization is hundred percent. Now also the utilization is hundred percent and zero percent idle condition. Now the status is CPU utilization is zero and idle condition is ninety nine point seven seven. So 99.77. So successfully run completed in 100 seconds. Successfully completed run in second seconds. 100 seconds. Check our instant status. Now again running step. Again change the time like a thousand seconds. Now the CPU status is 100% and idle is 0, 0. Take the graphical representation. My CPU utilization already crashed 80 percent, right? Yeah, now the state is stopping. Why? Because so my CPU utilization is already crashed 30 uh, greater than 30 or equal to. So at the time my instance uh, my instance is in stopping state. So now the my my instance is SSL one instance is stopping. Right? Now check check your mail. Now check your mail. You you will get one message from AWS Educate Support. So that mail is so alarm alarm status. So AWS notification. So that is the CloudWatch notification open that notification you are receiving this email because your amazon cloud watch alarm us east ohio region has entered the alarm state alarm state because 
threshold crossed threshold crossed means our limit is crossed our actual limit is greater than or equal to 30 okay, greater than or else equal to okay, greater than ki equal to ki ante ekku vaithe naaku oka alarm message raavali so so this is the message right so on my instance status also stop it still so again stop this instance again start okay so uh, i'm getting uh, error i'm getting error remote side unexpected and unexpectedly closed network connection why because our instance state is stopping so that's what i'm getting this error now close all pretty consoles and again restart this mission instance state and start Just start and how to delete cloud watch alarms so select an alarm so how to delete cloud watch alarms so this is our cloud watch alarm count so here one alarm is available now select the alarm and then move on to actions so here four options are available edit copy delete and add to dashboard now delete this alarm and again click on delete so successfully deleted here no alarms are available so that is the main advantage of cloud watch alarm right so again refresh so now the alarm status is none so because we are already deleting our, our our alarms again run again check the console www.apsdc.in so so this this one for http so this site is not secure website your connection to this site is not secure condition cookies are zero and site settings are there. so this is our uh, our local settings now check in https port https colon double slash www dot apsdc dot in enter so http https https call and double slash yeah so this is our secure website so you just click on view site information so connection is secure and here uh, the certificate certificate is valid cookies are zeros and these are uh, local settings for this particular browser so you just click on certificate certificates so uh, overall details about overall details about SS, our ssl certificate so this ssl certificate issued to issued to uh, me my my own domain name is star.apssdc.in and issued by amazon so this is this certificate is issued by amazon and the certificate valid up to 24 7 2022 24 8 2021 so this this is valid up to one year now check one more website like hdfc hdfc login yeah so this one also secure website so now check the set check the view site information so connection is secure so this is our page so this also connection is secure so connection is secure now check the certificate information and this certificate issued to www.hdfcbank.com so this certificate issued to hdfc bank and the certificate issued by bg sent company so this is the, this one is the third party third, uh, third party certificate generation software certificate generation website 
so the certificate issued by dgcn or oh, but our certificate issued by our certificate is issued by amazon our certificate is issued by amazon so each certificate is valid up to one year okay so that is the difference between http and https so this one is the not secure website so we can easily hack this website so but in in this in this web page we cannot hack we cannot hack our website why because our connection is in secure condition so in in https in https um, security group our data will be encrypted encrypting position so that is the difference between http and https so in in http we, we don't need any ssl certificate but in https we need some ssl certificates so so ssl certificates are available in uh, so many domains like uh, so godaddy and commodos ssl store.com those two are third party certification generators and aws also provides their own certificate own certification service certificate service so that certificate service name called so certificate generator i think yeah certificate manager so, right so in in mnc this this type of certificate is not working so in big companies big companies or mnc's this certificate is not not valid so at the time we can use third party certificates so this certificate only for startup level so certificate manager is only for startup level right so so SSL, SSL also done and CloudWatch also done. So the next thing is 12th one is static web hosting through NSCP software. So actually this is our static web page. So this is our static web page, right? So so EC2 now open your EC2 con our EC2 console. So here one running instance are available uh, and again so uh, open that put open that instance in putty console so putty so our service name is static web hosting through putty uh, win scp software So first of all run and host name means our instance ip before public ip and so do ssh authentication browse or ppk oh here one open and again click on open yes now login as ec2 iphone user so ec2 iphone user so the next convert into root user sudo space su space iphone so actually uh, browse this address in new browser tabs refresh now working fine take a new tab control v and so this is ssl1 ssl1 instance output so this actually this one this is the static base so this is the static base fixed base so this uh, this static base in this particular location so user user is the directory you share is the subdirectory nginx is the some other so, uh, nginx and html are all four are directories so actually we are in root directory now change this directory so then command is cd space our first path is user first directory is user usr and then second directory is share second directory is share and and our third directory is nginx 
and our final directory is html slash enter now we are in html directory we are in html directory now check the content in this particular directory how to check it means ls so ls means it shows only file names so 404.html 50x.html icons index in nginx logo powered by png or suppose i can type one more command like ll so ll means it displays all hidden folders also hidden folders with permissions also so actually i just copy one file and control so so this one is the permission tab so this one is a perm this step this, this is the permissions and file number is one and this file in root accessibility and this file port and issued by september uh, 12 2019 and actually this this uh, file is issued by september 12 2019 and this file name is 50x.html okay everything is fine so in before we know some some permissions some permission types so actually this one is permission type so here first first step is iphone and then second step is w r w iphone and then third step is r iphone iphone and fourth step is if r iphone iphone so in first step three options are available one is iphone second one is d and then third one is l so here iphone indicates file iphone indicates file so 50x dot html is the file so iphone indicates file so for suppose here d is there so i can see is d means icons here one more is there so d so d means drive directory d is the directory that means folder d is the folder so here icons is the folder 50x.html is the file so iphone always indicates file name d always indicates directory names L always indicates links. L always indicates link names. So, right. So the next step is so first one for owner and second one for group owner and third one for users. So here three type of permissions are well are there. So one is owner, second one is group owner, and third one is user. Owner means I am the user for this particular. I am the owner for this particular SSL one instance. So group owner means without the within the organization. Like within the organization means so APSSDC is one organization. We, we all are access this particular instance. So that is the group owner. User means all clients are users. All clients are users. So here three types of permissions are there. Three type of permissions are there. One is read, second one is write, and third one is execute. So here the read read default value is four. So that is the constant value, and write default value is two. So that one also constant, and exit execute default value is one. So read means four. So that is fixed value. Write means two. Execute means one. So in one or field, I am giving, I am given read and write. So read and read and write means the value is around. Read and write means four plus two. So then total count is six. So that is one or permission. And group one or permission is only read. Read means four. And execute permission. And end user permission is, is only read read means four so six double four means so this is the number for so this is the permission for 50 x dot html file permission file permission number 
so six means six means one or one or permissions are read and write execution read and write permissions group one or permissions are only read permission user permissions are only read for suppose we can we can change some something like triple seven so triple seven means so one or permissions are read write execute and read means four write means two execute means one four plus two plus one then count total count is seven so group one or permission also seven like that means read write execute and user permission also read write execute that means all permissions are allowed so how to how to add these permissions means how to assign the permissions for this particular but this this 50x dot html file is so here one command is there ch mod ch mod change modifications space triple seven space our our required file required file is 50x dot html now run this command run this command so actually our file permission is this one so our 50x file permission is this one right now now execute this command so ch mod again restart my session login as ec2 iphone user so the next convert into root user sudo space su space iphone now change the directory cd space user slash share slash nginx slash html slash enter now ll so our 50x permissions are read write read read now change the permission for that file ch mod triple seven space 50x dot html again check the status ll now this file status is now this file status is this one so iphone means iphone is the file and first three fields are one permissions one permission means all permissions and second three files are group one and third three fields are user permissions we are now we are giving all permissions for 50x.html file right so that is the permission so actually this is so this is the this is the static uh, static page content so this is the overall static page content now we we need to add our own content in this location how to add it by using one software like win scp so actually this is the default uh, default content for nginx web server right now we need to add our own own page one static page first of all download one static page like uh, html templates html templates Sample HTML templates. Download three zero double seven free website templates are available. Open it. So all our default templates. Now you can choose any one. I can choose first one. And then next, download this template. So now my file is downloading again show in folder so actually my file in c drive just um, cut this file in cut and paste it on desktop location so create one more folder my folder name is fdp and open that folder and paste it here so actually this file is in uh, the format file so now extract here so here shows 
so here images are there layouts are there pages are there index also there and license also there so this is our page now now add this content in our our our, our instance our instance is ssl one instance how to add it means you are using one software like WinSCP. so first browse win scp in a cp free download so this is the site official site colon colon download iphone win scp open that site so win scp so two oh, software name is win scp and version is 5.17 5 so you just scroll down and download win scp software so in a software name is winscp and version is 5.17.6 and this file size is around 10.6 mb so you just download and install it once installation was done open that file winscp yeah okay so host name means host name means our instance ip before public ip so protocol is sftp so that is default and and host name is our instance ip before public ip so this is our instance ssl1 is our instance i just copy that instance id and paste it here control v and port number is 22 why because our operating system port number is 22 ubuntu port number is 22 so on on this instance username is ec2 iphone user and password is our key so you now click on advanced authentications so key type is private key browse or ppk or ppk is yoga open and again click on open okay and then click on login now oh, searching for host yes so now connecting perfectly successfully so i actually here two consoles are available so here the left left side console is our my our my our local local system and right side console is our instance ssl one instance one instance so left side console is my personal laptop data and right side console means so our instance data right so i, I already uh, already downloaded one file so that file in desktop folder first of all choose desktops so we already created one file that file name is ftp open that file so here one ng file is there so open that one so here so many files are available like images layouts pages index.html and license now now move these files in this particular location which location so user share nginx html right so actually we are in actually we are in ec2 f1 user now convert into root first change the directory ec2 ec2 f1 user to root directory root now we are in root user right so then first path is user now check the user part yeah so this is the user open that and then second path is share check the share path yeah share this is share open that now and then third path is nginx now check the nginx nginx so this one open that and the next thing is html open that one so here uh, all files are there icons is there 50x 404 index nginx power by again check my putty console also so both files are same 404 is there 50x is there icons is there index dot html is there nginx logo also there powered by dot png also there now now delete 
those files or delete all files we just select all files and click on delete symbol click on delete symbol or else f8 f8 is f8 also delete option so are you sure you want to delete six selected files yes okay so error deleting file icons powered by dot png why because skip skip so it was getting error why because all file permissions are only read write permissions so execute permissions are not available in this in this directory now change the directory first of all cd again network issue restart session and ec2 iphone user now convert into root user sudo space su space iphone and cd mkdir change the directory mk sorry ch mod change modifications triple seven space or required part part is user share nginx and html enter now delete it now again delete it select all files so because cd space change this directory ll so we are giving uh, all permissions for all files now delete right select all delete okay again it was not deleting retry 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 again change modifications like again back to my console cd space dot dot cd space enter now i am i am in root uh, root user ch mod space triple seven space or path is our path is this one I just copy that path and again copy that path copy and ch mod space triple seven space my path address enter now try it again okay not error skip all you can check the status ll wait a minute i will check my instance status again copy that instance ipv for public ip and take in opt console run host name means my instance id authentications browse my ppk oh you one and open again click on open now login as ec2 iphone user so the next sudo space is u space iphone so the next ch mod space triple seven space iphone r space slash user slash iphone r means recursive delete in the next slash html slash enter iphone is not working yeah no check again okay. yeah delete already deleted here yeah.
so already deleted everything is deleted okay fine now drag and drop the files so left side is local console drag and drop now the file status is uploading So actually we need cp also third party tool so uh, html pages are static pages uh, so that's what that's what our concept name is static web hosting through WinSCP software static web hosting through WinSCP software so by using WinSCP software we can host our own web, own static page in in our instance ssl one instance right now copy uploading data uploading uploading so 100 percent completed now check the check the check our instance ipv4 public ip in new console new tab so this is the output so actually this is our instance id so 3.22.130.170 again check here also 3.22.130.117 so we are hosting uh, so this website in our aws instance so by using in a cp2 so this is the output so actually this 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 is not secured website right now check the check the console like www.apsdc.in so this also not secure website and again check the double http so here also not working why because it it will take some time so actually this is the secure website uh, but but it not uh, updated so it will take around uh, 10 to 15 minutes right so by using university software we can host our own website websites in our virtual servers like our ec2 instances so that is the twelfth concept right so um, the next so many concepts are pending so tom tomorrow we'll discuss on iam roles and some other basic concepts and etc etc so actually tomorrow is the last day so last day for fdp session fdp program Okay, uh, in today we are covered three topics. So one first topic is SSL certificate, and then second topic is CloudWatch, and then third topic is static web hosting through in SCP software. So in two weeks uh, we completed around 12, 12, 12 services. So twelve services and different uh, different levels. So one is EC2 configuration, second one is VPC, third one is Elastic IPs, fourth one is image creation, and fifth one is storage concept. So sixth one is database, and seventh one is peering concept, VPC peering, and eighth one is Elastic Load Balancer. So Elastic Load Balancer is divided into two two levels. One is application, and second one is network load balancer, and then and then and the next topic is route 53 so route 53 for domain name generate generator so and the next topic is route 53 and the next topic is ssl certificate so ssl certificate provides security for our domains so and the next topic is cloud watch it monitors it monitors all aws services like instances vpc auto scaling load balancer and win uh, sorry route 53 and etc 
right so then 12th service name is static web hosting through winsp software so you know, we covered around 12 topics right so if, if you have any doubts regarding in this session please let me know otherwise we will wind up the session for today